everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Joey Fight. I'm the founder of thephysicaleducator.com, which is an online resource for physical education teachers. And more importantly, I'm a phys ed teacher here in Montreal, where I teach at St. George's School of Montreal. And this, what you're watching right now, is a scope vlog. It's a, I don't wanna call it a daily vlog anymore, because it's really not, but it's a vlog I upload every now and then, uh, where I share ideas uh, that I'm trying out in my teaching, I share different activities I'm doing with my students, and I share just kind of different cool things that I think other phys ed teachers will enjoy. Um, usually I do this vlog live on Periscope, but today you're actually watching a pre-recorded one. And the reason is that I wanna walk you through one of my all-time favorite apps. And to do that, I have to share some, I had to splice in some video of my actual iPad screen, so that's why I'm pre-recording it. Now that being said, I'd really love to show you this app. It's an app that I use almost on a daily basis on my iPad, and it's an app called Pocket. So let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing you need to know about Pocket is that it's a read it later style app, meaning that it's an app that collects things that uh, links, videos, anything you find online that you don't necessarily have time to read at the moment that you discover them, but that you'd like to read later on. So I'm going to open up Pocket here so we can kind of see what's going on. So when I open up Pocket, what you're seeing here is kind of your feed. So these are all articles, videos, um, links, all kinds of things that I've shared or saved to Pocket that I can access at any time when I have a little bit more time to be checking it out. Now to kind of understand how that works, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to jump over to Twitter and I have a tweet here that I shared out uh, through the website that shares a link. Now let's say I see this in my Twitter feed, I don't have time to read. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm, on, I, on iOS, I'm going to long press uh, to be able to save it. But here you'll see that I can save um, it to Pocket, at which case I'll get a notification saying that it's saved. If I go back to Pocket now and I pull down to refresh, you'll see that right up here, the article has been saved uh, to my Pocket feed. So it's just downloading the article there. And you'll be able to see it here in a second. So there you go. So you'll notice that when Pocket saves articles uh, to the feed, it saves it in a very no fuss kind of fashion. You don't get any banner ads, you don't get any uh, pop-ups, all you get is the text from the article, which is really cool. Sometimes though, you wanna be able to see the full article. So by tapping up here in the right-hand corner, uh, where there's the ellipsis, you can just tap on switch to web view and you'll be able to see the full version of the article on the website that it was shared on. So here it is on the physical um, So yeah, so you can see the full version of, of that article there. Now, if I go back to article view, another cool feature here uh, that I'd like to share with you, let's say that you have some articles lined up and you're going for a jog or you're driving or you're doing the dishes or whatever it may be. Again, going from that little menu up in the right hand corner, there's a listen function, which is text to speech. Um, so that you can listen in. So I'm gonna play this for you here. It's gonna be very potato quality because I'm recording a mic through another mic, uh, but just to give you an idea of the lovely robotic voice that you'll hear. How I teach, Terry Drain, Joey Feet, December 16th, 2016. The more I teach, the more I realize how lucky I am to be a part of the FIST community. Every day, I find myself feeling inspired and wowed by this group of amazing teachers from around the world. So yeah, so kind of creepy robotic voice, but again, if it's your only option, uh, at least you have it there. You can also adjust the speed at which it uh, reads to you, uh, going either slower if you want, if it, you find it's uh, talking too fast, or a little bit faster if you want to try and uh, blast through some articles really quickly. Now, when you've read an article, what you can do, you can do a couple more things here. You can do things like adjusting the font, um, the, the color of the screen, all kinds of things like that. You can also tag the article so that's easier for you to find it later on. You can share the article, so you can recommend it, you can send it um, to a friend, you can share it via any social media platform. You can also just copy the link to the article. Uh, and then on the left hand side here, you have the recommendation option, which I will show you what that means, uh, where you can type in a recommendation for that article, and you can also archive the article. So I'm just going to archive it, and I'll show you where that goes later on. So just getting back to the recommendations here, um, Pocket, not only will it save articles and content for you, it will also recommend articles and content for you. This is based off the of things that you've read, based off the of people you follow. Sometimes they're recommended by Pocket itself, by the app itself. Sometimes you'll see uh, things like here, this article by MG Siegler, uh, which is somebody who I follow on Pocket. So I'll get their recommendations in this feed. I'll also get notifications in the notifications tab 
of people I follow on Pocket just to stay up to date with everything that everybody else is reading. Uh, and I can discover content that way as well. And finally, just before I show you um, the archive, I want to show you the your profile. So your profile, again, just kind of shows um, things that you've read, things that you've recommended. And obviously, you can check out uh, other people's profiles as well. And when you see something interesting there, right from that article, you can save it to your pocket. Uh, you can like it. Uh, there's a few different options that you can, or different ways you can interact with that content. So just going back to the list, so your main feed here. So uh, I'm just going to get rid of this here because I've already read that. Um, but up in the left hand corner you see this little filter tab. Uh, what you can do here, you can go to your archive which will be all past articles that you've read that are saved into your archive. The only things that won't appear here are things that you've actually deleted from your pocket list. So let's say you accidentally save something by um, some garbage article by accident, uh, you can actually delete things. Uh, and you can also have your favorites, so you can mark things down as favorites. So these are all things that I've read that have had a big impact on me um, that uh, I want to save so I can find them even quicker. I can It sorts things by articles, by videos, by images. You also have a list of different tags you can use. What I love is the search feature, which you can get even in the free version of the app, not the premium. I just use a free version. Uh, where you can actually search for things that you've read before. So for example, my wife and I are planning out what we're going to be eating this week in terms of meals, and we want to have our pork wraps uh, that we love. So I'm just going to type in pork and go to archive here, and there we are. The pork lettuce wraps are right there. This is a delicious meal, by the way. Um, so yeah, so that's Pocket on iOS. What's great about Pocket too is that you can actually get it on pretty much every platform, every mobile uh, platform, every uh, desktop platform. There's also a web version of Pocket. So really your Pocket list will be available to you anywhere uh, regardless of what kind of um, device you're using. Uh, so yeah, so that's uh, Pocket. So that's Pocket. Um, it's an amazing app. Like I said, I use it almost every day. It's incredible just for saving all those links that you wish you had time that you could get to, but don't necessarily have it when you're in that moment and you're seeing the link. Uh, so Pocket's an incredible way for you to be saving articles and videos and all kinds of things that you can check out when you have a little bit more time. Personally, I love doing it on a Sunday morning when I wake up, just going through my Pocket list. It's kind of like your own personalized newspaper. So Pocket's my favorite Read It Later app. Um, I'm really curious to hear if there's any that you really enjoy, so feel free to share them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and happy teaching.